the willingness of all Americans, men and women, young and old, to serve in the Peace Corps, to serve in all parts of the world, to serve at little pay, to do jobs that uh, most of them have never done before, is one of the most encouraging manifestations of the American spirit that this country has seen in many years. The Peace Corps gives us a chance to show a side of our country which is too often submerged. Our desire to live in peace. Our desire to be of help. Hi, I'm Anthony. I served in the Peace Corps in Poland from 1999 to 2000. Uh, the best part about being in the Peace Corps was not just the chance to travel, but to experience a different culture and to meet people that you would never meet by traveling or studying abroad or even working in the Foreign Service. And the Peace Corps was my path to working in the Foreign Service, and it's given me a lifelong connection to Poland. Hi, I'm Sarah. And I'm Phil. We were Peace Corps volunteers in the Republic of North Macedonia. I lived in a tiny village on the Bulgarian border called Makedonska Kamenica, where I taught English at the local elementary school. And I lived in a larger town called Shtip, where I worked with local governments to expand regional cooperation. But the highlight of our service was working with the future leaders of Macedonia the young men and women that we met through the Model United Nations, boys camps, girls camps, National Spelling Bee, represent the spirit of public service that makes Peace Corps such a powerful force. The other highlight, of course, was meeting each other. We got married shortly after we finished our Peace Corps service and now have two beautiful children. North Macedonia will always have a special place in our hearts. We even named our daughter after Phil's host mother. Happy birthday, Peace Corps. Hi, my name is Mark, and I was a Peace Corps volunteer in Armenia from 2017 to 2018. Um, I taught English at a regional college in southern Armenia. It was definitely the most difficult job I've ever had in my life, but also the most rewarding. What I loved most about the Peace Corps was being able to live in my community and experience life in the realm of an Armenian, basically, um, using the local language to go about my daily tasks. I think that Peace Corps service is very, uh, is a very positive um, pathway into a diplomatic career. Hello, my name is Matt Thompson. I'm the Public Affairs Officer at the U.S. Consulate in Yekaterinburg. Uh, I'm a returned Peace Corps volunteer. I served in Bulgaria from 2004 to 2006. Um, my Peace Corps time uh, it was a life-changing experience for me. First, um, I'd never been outside of the United States except, I think, two or three trips to Canada. So moving to Bulgaria for two years was a big deal, and I learned a lot during that time. Second, um, it put me on a path to diplomacy. I understood um, uh, how important it is to work together with others, um, how to um, appreciate different perspectives, and how rich and diverse the world is. And third, um, and probably most importantly, uh, I met my wife there. She was a, a volunteer uh, just before me. I replaced her in the town where, where I worked. Now we're married and um, have a child. So I have to thank Peace Corps uh, on, uh, on a professional level and also a personal level. It was just a wonderful experience. Hi, uh, my name is Jonathan, and I was a Peace Corps volunteer in Georgia from 2011 to 2013. Uh, I primarily was an English teacher at Dedepliskaro First School. Dedepliskaro was a small town in Cajeti. I um, I'd always wanted to join the Peace Corps and uh, serve the United States overseas. My father was a Peace Corps volunteer in Venezuela in the 70s, and he always told me his stories about how much he got out of it. And so I knew, even in college, that that was going to be my next step. What I got out of it really was um, the relationships I formed with the people there, um, especially with my students and my counterpart. And so when I look back on those times and I look back on the work that I was able to accomplish, I'm incredibly proud. I'm incredibly proud of my students, of my counterpart, and um, to all of them who may be watching this video, uh, I miss you very much. And I hope to see you all someday soon. Bye.